This is what the calibration screens look like on Gray Wolf meters when you perform a user calibration. Select Probe, then User Calibration from the top menu. Selecting Help provides more information, including how to revert to the underlying factory calibration if you are concerned that a user calibration wasn't performed properly. You don't have to be afraid that you might mess up the calibration. The probes that are connected and their sensors that are available for user calibration are displayed. After selecting the correct probe or internal sensor when more than one is available, select the parameter to be calibrated. Here, we'll calibrate carbon dioxide. Be sure to match the calibration points to the actual value of your reference gas. Or, for added caution, to the high end of the calibration gas uncertainty range. Your revised calibration points will be retained for the next time a user calibration is performed. Place the calibration hood over the top of the probe and then open the reference gas regulator. You'll be looking for stabilized readings, not necessarily matching the set point of 385. You can optionally run an onboard video about how to place the calibration hood and open the regulator. Here we'll display just the beginning of this one minute hardware calibration video. Once the reference gas is flowing, allow time for the reading to stabilize. Two to three minutes for most gases, including CO2. But as much as six minutes for some others, which will be indicated by the software. Once the gas reading is relatively stable, press Measure. This will start a 15 second countdown over which the readings are averaged. Wait until it is complete. Once the countdown is complete, click Next and then turn off the reference gas flow to save your gas. Repeat the procedure for the high or gain reference gas. Two point calibrations, first low then high, are always recommended. However, near the beginning of the calibration procedure you could have selected a single point either high or low, if you are only concerned about one end of the sensor range. These readings show how much of an adjustment you have made. Upon completion, send your user calibration adjustments to the probe that's being calibrated, where it is stored on an internal chip. If you feel you may not have calibrated properly, select Cancel and try again. If you want to calibrate additional sensors, click Yes. For this example, we are finished and end up on the live reading screen. Feel free to contact Grey Wolf if you have further questions.